The next thing I want to talk about is how to obtain soils information. So actually in this example we're going to do this for Chase County simply because we had a request for that. So soils data will give us information about subsurface conditions. Subsurface conditions tell us what we can and cannot potentially develop. Development can include, but is not limited to, structures or the ability to sustain plant or human life. There are several places to obtain soil information. The most popular and reliable place is the Web Soil Survey website. The following here, what I'm about to show you, is kind of a walkthrough on how to do this. So first we'll need to navigate to this Web Soil Survey. If you can't remember all of this, what I usually do is just go in the Google and do a Google search for Web Soil Survey and then the very first link that comes up I'll click on that which will take me to this page. The next step is you'll click on this green button over here which will take you to the actual Web Soil Survey and there's a couple ways that you can go about getting data. If the site is fairly small like it's about a hundred acres you probably want to use these two area of interest button to define exactly where in basically the United States that your site is located at and once you do that then you can start navigating through these other tabs and kind of it'll clip the data for you and just show you the soils information for that particular area of interest. The other place that you could go is this download soils data tab over here and go to this soil survey area and here where it says state click the drop down and I'm going to choose Kansas and then underneath there's information that says county so I'll go ahead and choose the Chase County and then it's here it says only show soil survey areas updated since so you could probably click this thing. Um, I usually just leave that blank and you can sort it by certain things so maybe we'll sort it by area symbol so KS017 is our area symbol. We could also do it by name. We also have the option to most recently added so we'll just do it by name. We also want to include the template database so once you have all of this stuff here selected, over here to the very far right side, there should be a link. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that link. So I'm going to download that into my source directory. Let's call it Soils. Actually, it wouldn't go inside Marlet Park. It's a totally new project. So I'm just going to right click here and choose Copy. Right click here and choose Paste. And I'm going to rename this to Chase. County so this is a new project and inside of my GIS directory in source I'm going to call this USDA because that's what this website basically is and I'm going to call this soils and then just save it there once it downloads I'll click on the show in folder button over here in the lower left right click on this go to 7z and extract it here and then it'll create a folder here called KS017 and inside we have the geospatial soils information and we also have the tabular information which comes in the form of a notepad file some of these are blank and some of these are quite full of information so somehow you'll have to find a way to merge this data all together to have it in the same place as this data here. So let's just take a look at this really quick in ArcGIS. I'm going to go ahead and just turn all these off. I'm going to just use the same one as the Marlet Park. I'm probably not going to keep it in my Marlet Park. I'm, once I'm done examining it, I'm going to likely remove it from my data frame, but I'm just going to use my Marlet Park data frame just to take it, just, you know, kind of check it out really quick to make sure that I actually got what I wanted turn off my zero points and turn off that one there so now you can see I have a blank screen here go back to my select thing here and right click on this choose add data and like I said I'm just using my Marlet Park map just to check out the data I'm not going to keep it in here 
And notice that I don't have a folder connection for this. So I'll need to go back up here to folder connections, create a new folder connection, and I'm going to navigate out to where my Chase County stuff is. So here, this is the path that I want. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now I have a new folder connection. So if I navigate up, you can see that I have two folder connections. I have my Chase County. I'll double click on that. Go into my source, USDA, soils, spatial. And I'll pretty much just select everything that has a SHP file extension on the end and choose add. It's telling me that the spatial reference doesn't match. We know that. We just want to take a look at the data. We're not going to keep it actually on this data frame. And if you notice, we really can't see anything. And that's because Chase County is not in the same county as Riley County. So if you run into that, you can always choose one of these data pieces, right click on it, and click on zoom to layer. It'll take you to where that layer is located. Notice we have a lot of information here. We have some points. So if I right click on this and go to open attribute table, we can see exactly what those points potentially are. This one's blank. There's nothing there. So let me just turn those points off. Let's take a look and see what this is all about. Looks like it might be another blank one. So we'll turn that off. And this one I think is probably GUL, probably stands for goalie. Let's turn off everything else. Yeah, they're probably goalies. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Check out the attribute table. We can see there's some information. Notice that it doesn't have everything that we need here. So we are likely going to have to find that data and add that to our table here. And this one is probably just the boundary of the entire soil area. Yep, that's just the boundary file. So this is probably one that you're going to be of most interest in. And notice that there's some white spots that I just saw in there, or maybe not. Sometimes you may have white spots where there's just missing data. So right click on this, open attribute table. It looks like there's quite a bit of soils here for this particular county. So this is how you obtain soil information.